Hi, this is My Trade Tutorials. Today we are going to talk about how to register for a My Trade account using the e-registration platform. Beginning your better tomorrow just got easier. With the e-registration, you can apply in just a few clicks. We prepared this video to better equip you when you access the platform. So let's get right to it. One thing new about this e-registration is the link. I-click lamang ang https colon double backslash start.mytrade.com.ph and it will bring you right into the new account registration page. The whole process is still 5 steps but stay with us as we go through each section one by one. Kung napanood ninyo ang unang platform walkthrough video natin, familiar itong unang tab for account information. Dito kayo nag-decide ng username, password, trading pin, at dito rin kayo nag-assign ng inyong forgot the password question. For our new clients, make sure to remember all this information at gagamitin ninyo na ito para ma-access ang platform moving forward. Sa personal information tab naman dito, mas makikilala namin kayo as an applicant. Pwede kayo mamili kung ano account type yung gusto ninyo i-open. For joint accounts, halimbawa, dalawang set ng personal information yung kailangan ninyo i-fill out. Isa for the primary account holder and isa for the secondary account holder. But today, we will focus on how to register for an individual account. Going back. This form will still ask you for your basic information like your name, your gender. However, for the birthday, very important for students na interested mag-invest, kailangan 18 years old and above ka na when you try to register. Otherwise, hindi tatanggapin ang system ang iyong birthday. Minors can still register for an account but they need to enlist the help of their guardians to do an entrust for account for them. The account will temporarily be under the guardian's name. You just need to submit the minor's birth certificate as an additional requirement. So next in the agenda are your IDs. If you recall, we asked you to prepare these requirements ahead of time kasi you'll need to input them in the form. So on the left side, you just need to choose from the drop-down options here which ID you want to upload and then write down the ID number next to it. The full list of sample IDs is available in the description box but why did we say sample? It's because we also accept company ID as secondary ID as long as it has your picture and signature but it's not part of the drop-down menu. You can't just tag your company ID as university ID for now and we will be able to identify it once we parse through your requirements. The good thing about this form is it eliminates the need for you to send us these requirements as a separate attachment. Siguraduhin lamang na tama ang may upload ninyo na format ng dokumento. So yung format for IDs are here on the left side of the screen. Upload the front copy of your ID showing your picture as a separate file and another file for your back copy of the ID showing your specimen signature. TIN is important to input here, especially for your clients who are already working. If you don't remember your TIN, pwede po kayong magpatulong sa BIR online. Link is in the description box as well. Or on the other hand, if you declare that you're a student, just input student in the TIN box and it can be to follow. Now for the address, this is tied to your proof of billing requirement. Just make sure that whatever address you input in this form, you can produce a proof of billing statement for that specific address. The billing statement required does not need to be under the applicant's name. Kailangan lang pareho ang address sa form at sa document na i-upload. For the numbers, paghiwalayin lamang ang area code, country code, at ang actual number sa magkaibang box tulad ng nasa video. Tinutukoy ng ownership ang iyong address kung ito ba ay owned, printed, or etc. At ang length of stay naman ay kung gaano katagal ka nang nakatira sa registered address mo. Years and months ang bilang na kailangang i-indicate. Susunod na importanteng detalye ay ang iyong email address. Siguraduhin na tama ang email address na iyong ilalagay upang makareceive ng approval sa iyong application at para makareceive ng updates galing MyTrade. Para sa ating mga kliyente na nagtatrabaho abroad for the zip code, I understand na 
hindi lahat ng zip code ay apat na number lang in case na may address kayo abroad just input 0000 apat na zero po sa zip code para mag go through ang form pero isa pa ang pinaka importanteng detalye na kailangan ninyong ilagay dito sa tab na ito paano nyo ba nakilala si MyTrain isulat lamang kung sino ang nag refer sa inyo dito through selecting the options here at the drop down option dito sa referred by tab. Kung wala naman sa options ang inyong napagkuhaan, isulat lamang dun sa who referred you kung sino ang nag-refer sa inyo. Sa pangatlong tab, nandito ang investor profile. This is where we get to know you better in terms of your finances. Ang importanteng detalye dito na inyong kailangang i-input ay ang inyong registered bank account. Dahil ito rin ang gagamitin natin kapag magre-request na ng funds at kita through the e-withdrawal platform. Ang tutorial link for the e-withdrawal platform is also in the description box para sa inyong kaalaman. So, very important, kailangan tama ang account name, account number, and branch of account na ilalagay ninyo. Kung nakasubok na kayong mag-register recently na encounter ninyo ang FATCA form as a separate file, this time, all you have to do is tick yes or no sa form. No need to upload a copy of the FATCA form anymore. Lastly, if you were able to sign up with us before, you would remember that you need to download all the filled out forms and then sign them separately and re-upload again. But now, you just need to sign electronically and click the I agree button para sa data privacy consent and trading services agreement and you're good to go. Maaari mo namang i-click ang links upang basahin ang form at ang agreement. Just make sure to click the CAPTCHA link and click Submit to finish the application process. Once you're done, your application will now be for review. Kaya dapat tama ang email address na iyong i-register dahil pagkatapos mag-fill out ng forms, makakareceive ka ng email verification link na dapat mo i-click para makareceive ka ng updates about your application status. Check your spam, promotions, and junk email right after the application process. Dahil kung hindi ka nakareceive ng email verification, maaaring mali ang address na na-input mo. If that's the case, you just need to send us a message through our official FB page, MyTradePH, or just send us an email at help at mytrade.com.ph so we can correct your email on file. So that's it! That's how you register using the e-registration link. Now, aside from receiving the email verification message, another sign that everything has been done correctly is if you receive a separate email containing a zip file with all the documents you've submitted. Now, it should have your filled up application form, specimen signature, PDF agreement, the copy of your ID submissions, your public utility bill copy or billing statement, the DPA consent form, and FATCA form which you've all accomplished as we were going through the e-registration link and filling out the forms and all of that. Isn't it easier to use the e-registration link? So that's it. Thank you so much for listening. The e-registration module is just one of the things that we're doing in order to improve our services for our clients. And if you enjoyed this video, please just leave a comment. If we can assist you any further, just send us a message in our official FB page, MyTradePH, so we can help you out with any of your concerns. For now, we'll see you later. Goodbye!